less the most intimate moments of Madonna's Blonde Ambition tour are captured in her new film, Truth or Dare. The New York Post calls it a piece of commercial sleaze. Other reviews are not out yet, but the premiere itself was given the thumbs down by the fans and the photographers. Sherry Sylvester was there. To say that Madonna threw a party and nobody came would be unfair. To say that fans waiting hours for a glimpse of the material girl went home disappointed would be an understatement. She did materialize for about four seconds, dashing into the theater with Olympic speed. Madonna! Fans and photographers were snubbed, later shoved, at the after party. Michael Jackson escorted Madonna to the Oscars, but didn't make this premiere. Of course, she told the gay magazine The Advocate that given the chance, she would completely redo his image. Maybe the gloved one had nothing to wear. Ex-Flame Warren Beatty was a no-show. He is in the movie. You realize they all feel it when they come into this atmosphere. When they come into your dressing room, when they come wherever you are, they feel crazy. Madonna gloated to the L.A. Times that, quote, Warren believed that if he kept saying to the camera this whole thing is ridiculous, that it would keep us from using the footage. A phone conversation between the two was edited out per Beatty. Then there's Kevin Costner's cameo in Truth or Dare. He tells Madonna after a concert that her show was neat. She gags and growls, anybody who describes my show as neat has to go. The Oscar-winning director did not go to the premiere. Those guests who have apparently not been slammed in print or on film by Madonna include Rosanna Arquette, Barry Manilow, and Alan Thicke. Sandra Bernhardt praised her gal pal. She just has a great star appeal, and there's not much of that around these days. Steven Seagal, Valerie Bertinelli, and Terry Gar talked about the Madonna appeal at the post party. She's great. She can do whatever she wants to do. She proved it by this movie. We'll see if people go see it. <laughs> Indeed, Madonna has made millions in the music business on what many critics call a savvy mix of marketing and talent. Selling herself in Hollywood may take a little longer. Sherry Sylvester, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood. In theater, we've been here for like four hours. Yeah. It was my dream for yes, the longest my dream. time. Madonna wouldn't talk to the press, but she did greet leading AIDS researcher Dr. Matilda Krim. Hi. Thank you very much. You're welcome. God. The A short time later, many other celebrities arrived for the screening of the film at the Zigfield Theater. Lauren Hutton, Madeline Kahn, Suzanne Vega, Corbin Burnson and wife Amanda Pays, Susan Sarandon and companion Tim Robbins, and others. Most had nice things to say about Madonna. I think she's trying to find out what is feminine magic in a time where it's been taboo for a very long time, like, you know, a few thousand years. She's just not afraid to try anything in the world. And she's glamorous. She's the ultimate, like, uh, rebel, you know, and um, all of us live vicariously through her. But not everybody there was a Madonna fan. Suzanne, what do you think is great about Madonna? That's assuming a lot, you know. <laughs> That's assuming I think something's great about her. Uh, I think she has an amazing ability for self-promotion. <laughs> Basically. Why are you here tonight, then? Free tickets. And then the star of the evening arrived, Madonna, surrounded by the dancers from the movie. Madonna only wanted to stop and pose for pictures for the enormous amount of press that was here, but we did get her to say a word or two to us. Madonna, hey, you designed your outfit. Don't right. think of Anna. Are you happy with the way the film came out? Yep. The benefit premiere and parties raised about $110,000 for AMFAR the American Foundation for AIDS Research.